Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm sharing the new guides feature in Cricut Design Space. This is new with the Cricut update. I believe this has been out for a couple weeks now. If you pull up your Cricut Design Space and you do not see the guides feature, then you'll just want to update your Cricut Design Space. Normally, when you pull up Cricut, it'll just automatically ask you to update. I believe the update is 7.6 or higher. This is also available on iOS devices, which would be the iPhone or an iPad. I don't believe that it's on Android yet. You can turn a shape, text, an image, or SVG into a guide. And what these guides can do is just help you size your design. I have actually found three helpful ways that you can use this, so I'm really excited to share that. I'll give you an example and show you what I normally do, and then I will show you how you can use the guides feature. So let's say I'm going to make a Father's Day sign. I am gonna to go to my images and grab a Father's Day image. Let's say I'm going to be cutting this out on vinyl and putting it on a sign. Let's say the sign is eight inches by eight inches. What I would normally do to figure out my size is I would go to shapes, then I would grab a square. After that, I'd come up here and make this the size of my sign or my blank. If you followed my channel for a long time, you will know that I do this for almost everything. I will measure my blank, then I will figure out my design this way. So I am going to send this to the back. Now, another thing that I do is change this to the color white. Then I would grab this design and I would make it fit inside of my square. Now I know what size I want to make my design. The next thing that I would do is either hide or delete the square. Then I'd be able to go to make it. Now what you can do is use the guides feature. So I'm gonna delete my square and I'll go back to my shapes, grab a square again. This time what I'm going to do is come up to my operation type. Then I'll click on here and go down to the bottom where it says guide and I will select that. As you can see, it makes it just an outline now instead of a full solid layer. So before I would have to change my color to white. So that takes out one step already. Now I can make this the size that I want it, which is eight inches. Then I can figure out my size in here. So I can make it smaller or bigger. I already had figured out the sizing. I can go up and center this to kind of give me an idea of how it'll look. Now the next thing that's really neat with this is before I would have to go over and hide or delete my square. I don't have to do that at all with the guides feature. I can leave it exactly how it is and I can click make it. As you can see, it just shows up with the image. The guides feature doesn't pull into the make it screen. I am going to use this a ton because I've already been doing this with the shapes feature, but this takes out having to change the color and having to hide or delete my blank. That's the first way that I would use the guides feature. Now I wanna show you the second way that I would use this. Let's say you are making a doormat. I'm gonna grab another square and let's say the doormat is 20 by 10 inches, we'll just say. And we wanna make this a template. You can go up here and go down to guide. Let's say you are selling doormats and you're selling all the same size doormats. So you're gonna be making a ton of them. You can actually save your template in Cricut Design Space. So we have our template here. All you would have to do is go up to save, type in doormat template. Then you can also save it as a collection. Now, every time you use a doormat, you have this template in here. So I am just going to hit save. 
The third way that I would use the guides feature is to add text into Cricut Design Space. And a good example for this is using a mandala. So I pulled in the mandala camera. This has different layers. As you can see, this is the top layer and the next layer and so on. These are also very similar colors. So this would have helped me a lot with this project. What I'm going to do is go to text. Then I am going to type in part one. I'm gonna slide it over here. I'm going to go up to my operation type and go down to guide. Now I can see that this is my top layer. Then I could go to my text again and type in part two. I can change that to a guide and bring this down here. Then I can follow the same process for the rest of the mandala project. This would also be helpful if you are making paper flowers as well, or if you really need to put in any notes inside Cricut Design Space, because if you go to make it, as you can see, it's just showing up with the different layers of the colors, but it doesn't show up with the wording. So I think using text as notes in here will be another really helpful feature for this. This will also be helpful for print and cut because I always grab a shape and make it the max size that I can for our print and cut size and it makes it almost a full page. So I will for sure be using it for that too. So let me know what you think of the new guides feature. Let me know if you're going to be using it. There's also a new monogram feature in here, which is very cool. I will be doing a video very soon on that. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss that one as well.